A climb to Guyon, and we start off the top stories. COVID-19 is spreading fast, as demonstrated by 300-plus new cases a day, prompting the distancing level for the Seoul region and the city of Gwangju to be raised to 1.5. The government asked the public to cooperate in the disease control efforts so that the transmission can be contained without further toughening the distancing rules. 20 new cases were found to be related to a gathering in the capital region. It was supposed to be an online function, but the members met offline on November 7th. They subsequently spread the virus to their family members and friends. Infections continue to occur everywhere, including such gatherings, workplaces, schools and convalescent facilities like nursing homes. The speed of transmission is especially serious in the Seoul and Gyeonggi-do regions. The daily average of confirmed cases in Seoul and nearby cities over the past week stood at 125.6. It is more distressing that the number of patients aged 60 or older has spiked, hiking up the number of critical and serious cases. Only about 21 ICU beds are available in the capital region, where the highest number of confirmed cases is reported. Social distancing level has been raised to 1.5 for Seoul and Gwangju to first stop the widespread transmissions. The situation is so serious that the health authorities must consider toughening these social distancing rules to the next level, level 2, out of a five-tier system. Once social distancing level 2 is put in place, indoor dining is forbidden at restaurants after 9 p.m. and all day long for coffee shops. Operation of singing rooms and indoor sports facilities will also be limited, putting small businesses at greater risk. <laughs> Meanwhile, the government plans to announce within this month a detailed plan on vaccine procurement. Nonetheless, authorities ask the public to continue social distancing and avoid gatherings as it takes considerable time to verify safety and set up a proper supply chain for vaccines.